Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is uh, Forest Strangled Part 2. And in the last episode I started the forest, uh, the forest, fortress, whatever, <laughs> and um, uh, gave you a grand tour of the place. And, uh, well, actually, let's move on and actually do some stuff, build some things this episode. It's, ugh, weird idea. Um, so, oh yeah, also, last episode I got a wave of migrants and I need to set up those guys also. Yeah, I need to set up some uh, more cages. I need more cages to float all the cage traps with. And, um, you know what? Well, I want those items. But first, let's check the dwarf therapist. Uh, it's time for some more hot managing action. Um, let's see how many we got in that last wave. Not much. Anyone with awesome skills? A very good mason? Oh, doctor. Two doctors, actually. Maybe I should set those up as a doctors already. Well, especially this one, since it's uh, a diagnostician, which is what you need for the noble doctor. Let's call him uh, yeah, Doctor. Doctor Di House. No, it's a diagnosis doctor, so it's house like house. But uh, let's call it simple diag Doctor Diagnosis. Yeah, that's the word. And uh, let's call you Doctor Bone Setter. <laughs> doctor Bones again. Um, just like in Terraria. Um, but then different. And here's an actual here's an actual doctor. Um, the other dwarves. Let's uh, see if they got any military skills. Of course, doctor has some. And uh, young ones have a little bit of skill, dodging skill and armor skill, not that much. Well, I want more archers, so you're going to be the archers of the future. Um, so this new marks. I'll call this quad the marks instead of. Archers, and also trying to stay with a lowercase to make things easier for myself. Which is tough. Um, let's call the rest of them uh, all sort of names. <laughs> Bad names, but easy names for me at least. And uh, you, well, you should be the leader since you actually have some skills. So, actually, you are Marks 1, and you are Marks 4. And uh, we can use those in Dwarf Fortress. And I think we have the Yumis. No? Uh, it's the Dwarves. Right? It's a merchant. Yeah. It's a Dwarf. It's a sturdy food, uh, creature fond of uh, food and industry. Uh, drink and industry, even. Um, so, let's actually trade something and see what happens, and then I can actually use a skill. Um, let's move some skills here, and since it's, uh, I'm trading with the dwarves, I don't need to worry about wooden bins. And I have tons of wooden bins since I have more than enough trees in this fortress. There are so much trees around, and well, I don't need to chop them all down. That's well, part of the goal. Not, uh, well, not every fucking tree, but enough to piss off the elves. <laughs> that's all, uh, that'll need to happen. Also, there's some flies and stuff like that here near here, but my cats are going around killing the vermin. Maybe I should make a, uh, a meeting area near here, since there seems to be some vermin, but it'll probably be fine. Um... Where was I? Oh, yeah, trader. <laughs> um, they're already moving the trading stuff here, and it looks like they already moved most of the goods there. That's that's very nice. Um, also, let's request the trader. If I didn't do that yet, yes, trade requested. Also, miner should have that thing. He's actually there, and uh, the merchants are still unloading. It's, it's a miracle that he's here before it. Like I said, I, I missed a couple of trade opportunities, like tree and... Uh, yeah, mount gnomes. Um, it was my own fault. I let the game for on for too long and didn't notice these. Also, fun times. It's a forgotten beast made out of vomit. With knobby shells and it's emaciated and it has webs. And 
that's nasty. But it's uh, down there in the caves also. Yeah, you. Um, I should import a whole lot of things, but my fortress is pretty much still sufficient. They have, I have everything I really want. Um, you know what? Let's import some more drinks since I normally only have wine in the uh, wine for my dwarves to drink. Um, something else I'll need. Well, mostly armor and things like that. You know what? Let's add some flasks and water skins. Um. Let's add some uh, turkey leather water skins. Not Tunian, but turkey leather. Um, backpacks too. Bring me some of those. I won't have to make them all myself. Uh, sand I got. Spoke buckets and stuff I got. Hmm. Got everything. Mainly need need the armor leader. And well, I think I'll make more uh, enough money from this. So let's actually order some armor some helms and some gauntlets some high boots and some greaves they are the strongest I think links are important too um, shields and bucklers they'll bring that to me in the future pets and stuff like that they are fine now um, yeah that's fine Let's take a look at the uh, Forgotten Beast. It's uh, it's swimming. <laughs> it's uh, and it's gone. Um, okay. Also looks like yeah, my masonry is going on just fine. And um, yeah, they are still working. And now the trader is away, of course. Um, also, did I set this to brew? No, because I was out of drink. So let's do that. Um, well, I'd like to trade and I'd like my guy to get some skill so I can show you how much all the stuff I've made until now is worth. Should be tons. Um, and I haven't even made any Electrum stuff yet. Um, but uh, the mayor got to go for drink and knowing him he'll probably go all the way down since there, that's the only place where I have fresh water is all the way down in that cave. Um, yeah, but I really want to show you that. Um, oh, and now he's pretending a party. Uh, mayors. Yeah, shut up, you. Um, okay, well, I haven't said also that uh, those Mars Dwarves do a new squad yet, but I'd like a new wave first to sell them all to train together. Oh, I really shouldn't. You know what? I'll make it now. Um, make a new. No. No, 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 wrong button. Make a new squad. Meet a new militia captain. And yes, it, I said sheriff guard two to militia captain and uh, sheriff, so we should be doing both things at the same time. Anyway, let's make a new militia captain out of uh, marks one. And uh, let's give him a new squad. And make an archer squad since I want more of those in the future. And let's set some more Marks Dwarf to him. Um, fill this up later, and I'll need to give them a place to train. Uh, you know what, let's train all these places. Um, okay, Flickering Dragons, that was my melee squad. So, yeah, these are all go to train in this place. You know what, it'll be crowded, but you can also train in this place and store your stuff there. Dwarves will need more stuff like coffers and things like that in the room, but all that can wait. Um, what things I need to do? Oh, yeah, set up a noble level. Actually, dug out a noble level in a new design here. And uh, we'll need to set it up, but first I need to manage to actually start managing. Um, do I have enough stuff to do that? Let's, like, say this down room will be the manager's place. Um, give him a table. Oh, that works. Put it in the middle. Uh, let's try and give him a good table. Oh, a diorite table. Very nice. Uh, chair. No, awesome chairs. These ones were the better lights. Um, with 80 superior quality. I'm pretty sure there's ones. I've forgotten already. Um, 
So that can be my manager's office, then I'll be able to queue up more uh, managed goods. And that'll wrap up on my first uh, fortress too. First fortress. What's the difference? Um, oh, yeah, it needs to be a throne room. Let's give it to a manager. You know, who can be a manager. Guard tree. Uh, Oh, I actually set a guy named Organizer, yeah. And I actually set a guy named Recorder 2, so... Yeah, let's set those already, since I already found one using Dwarf Fortress. Also, I found Dr. Diagnosis, so we have most of the nobles set now. Good, they'll need rooms, but that'll happen as... Yeah, um, the manager gets to hoarding items for the rooms. Um, also, this level, well, on this level, and still making rock short swords, still decorating and making bone bolts. Yeah, I got more than enough bone, and that's why I take a hunter with me. Um, let's see, still not enough cages, and woodcutter here is not mo mo going on very fast. Uh, Cages you can make easy enough out of wood or glass, and wood being the easiest, and uh, I got some glass up, but need more things for that too. You know what, let's try and fix that on video too, um, since glass needs more uh, sandbags, need more empty bags. And let's take a look at my bag stockpiles near here. I made like two stockpiles, this one has just sandbags, this one has a uh, boxes and bags made out of not metal or stone <laughs> and uh, that puts in most bags in this spot to put it yeah, a little bit closer to the magma forge and they actually get the sand from this little zone here this is a sand zone um, but uh, I need more bags and I actually set up that place up there and this is what you guys want toys and stuff, well, you just get craft, so, yeah, uh, that's okay. <laughs> um, I needed leather working. Yeah, shut up, you. Um, did I have a leather working dwarf yet? Don't think I did. Let's read again, and uh, not set it to profession, but set it to this. Then, leather working you. No one has leather working. Um, what is like a dwarf which is doing nothing? Uh oh. Oh, it's saving. <laughs> I was scared it was crashing for a second there, but that's just Windows 7 thinking. It is crashing, but it's just saving Windows 7. Don't don't be so scared. Um, I'll be back in a second. Yeah, there we go. Uh, go back to this, to my channel page. Go back to this. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, bags. Uh, try and find the idler so he can make some leather works and make some leather bags. And not much idlers. Uh, manager. Well, you need to start managing soon. So yeah, you'll stay like that. Uh, detailer. You'll need to start. Detailing, um, you know what, cloth here, you can do it on the side. Uh, he, since he's a high master clothier and um, proficient miller, uh, useless. Um, let's set you to do a letter working as well. And you know what, let's add him tanning to be extra sure. And let's like turn every all the hauling off except the refuse hauling. Um Okay, so he'll be should be able to make my leather works and then I'll be able to queue up some bags. Um let's try and give a queue command to uh, like brew drink and a one and lavish meals is what I want and more lavish meals Okay, that's something for the manager to do. Um, stone, not... Well, I think my stone actually might be done now yet. Yeah. Uh, 
these were cancelled because the uh, stone stockpile was under here. Um, let's make sure everything's claimed too. Um, yeah, so bags. <laughs> um, I actually made one. Nice. Okay. Um, also, let's check my letter. Can I use that the stocks menu for that? Um, mm, 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 there are so many options here. Um, prepared mules, headwears, and hides. Ten out of seventy. Can't view it more, but because my yeah record keep needs to job. Um, well, no, but that's for some only thing we can set. Um, I have enough tables. Try put this in the middle. Give it another one, a good one, and a chair and a door. Sure. And let's have a record keeper. So we'll actually have a dwarf. Yeah. Managing our records or managing how much stuff we actually have. Don't think there's like an easy way to show how much leather you have, like using this for metal, right? Um, is there any item you like in this list you build out of there? Don't think there is. If you guys know uh, any like quick way to show how many leather, much leather you got in a fortress like like that command, tell me, please. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to look in bins like this, and uh, well, I got some unicorn leather, turkey leather, and not much more. And I got a bit of silk spider thread and cloth, which I took with me in the beginning, and I also had unicorn hair. <laughs> I can even make unicorn hairs and make unicorn hair ropes or something like that. You can like spin hair into ropes or some, something. Like that. <laughs> Repeating words. Um, so, I have a couple of bins of leather. Yeah, and I did lose train of thought for a second again there. Yep. Um, so, we have like two bins of leather. Um, well, I need a whole lot of leather items. Let's, uh, well, let's start off with some leather back so I can actually get my glass production started properly and now the merchants are leaving again and this is what happens the FPS is so fast and then the merchants leave but the miner is actually here now that's the one. <laughs> this is what I almost forgot like luckily thankfully for this message um, so this time we're going to trade hooray um, and these are the dwarves so they don't care about my stuff being out of wood uh, let's show these guys Let's show the items. Is there any one with extreme worth? Um, something with 6,000? The Dacite Scepter, this must have a unicorn in it. No. Just a lot of gems. Um, PDPPPP, anything else? It's super exciting. Dacite Figurine. Early Spring. Buckler. Well, this has some unicorn horn in it, but it's only worth 130. Huh. I think that would be worth, worth more, but... Maybe... Nah, I don't know. Um, the quality of the engraver uh, will encrust the unicorn horn into the object matters a lot too. Uh, or maybe they're not all that expensive, actually, in a dwarf world. I was expecting it to be, but... Well, maybe they aren't. Bridges can melt too, so <laughs> I have been I've not been known to be wrong be wrong before even. Um, um oh, there is some stuff I really do not need to sell. Um okay. Okay. Well I'll be able to sell a lot of bins, so let's set up a couple first. Um let's see if I can buy them empty now. It's one of the Earlier, nah, trading caravan. So I should have all the money and going pretty good. I like to, to buy the 
the uh, vendor is completely empty, it's it speeds up the game. <laughs> Gives you a whole lot more dwarves in the yeah, upcoming waves of migrants, and it also it attracts you the, the goblins to your fortress. So yeah, it'll uh, summon goblins basically. But who cares? Um. Any other words? And I'm only at the letter now. Um, I have more bins. That was that one really expensive bin. Let's add some more. And make sure I don't sell all the threads which I had. Um, oh, this one. This one. This is more like it. Look at this. At this time, a lot of 6900. It's made out of uh, dacite, brown zircon, brown zircon, in it rock growl. That's it. No unicorn. This clear zircon is worth a lot. And here you can I finally see that my group is called the Mortal Fortification. Hmm. Oh well, it's it's worth a lot. It's good. I don't know why and why it's not a unicorn thing, but it's okay. And, uh, well, that's one expensive bin. Um, you know what? Oh, and the unicorn is called Totem. Which is worth 2100 too, since there's actually also some, some gems in them. Uh, so, let's set a couple of those. And continue buying the trader empty, like we should. And this gives me more another leather bins and cloth. And back problems should be over now. Um, oh, they actually have some anv anvils with them. And the yeah, only thing I really requested from the traders for this uh, trading is uh, more leather. More turkey leather. And you might have just seen that since I have yeah, just bought a whole lot of those. And uh, should be getting to the bottom of the list now. And there actually should be some items and some armor in the list. And there we go. Um, everything selected. And well, a couple of these items will pay for it. Um, well, like this, they have a nice profit. Let's try and see if they'll trade for this. No. Well, how about you take this one as well and you take a couple of these crappy things as well. He's happy now. Well, he's uh, that's rather uh, great. Uh, also, let's give some stuff to the king. Um, offer some goods which are good, so the king can show, uh, can see our crafts dwarf ship, and uh, some totems and some crown dog skull totems and a unicorn skull totem for the king. He'll love that. Um, give it to a ki his kids or something. Or the queen, those the bloodthirsty queen, or the monster wife queen, maybe. Oh, well, we'll offer that to the queen, the, uh, the king. Did she needs some offering to very much la very later in the game, but uh, well, I like to offer something in the beginning. It's like, hey, my my dwarf fort is stopping running. We're making tons of money. Also, yeah, uh, I got a farmer's workshop running. And brewing is starting, and kitchen, all that all starts out of itself. Is managing starting new? But uh, yeah, actually, I'm cre creating leather bags now. So yay, glass forging will be able to be done. And uh, yeah, migrant wave or two later, and we're really set. Um, how about defenses? Um, well, as you see, I've placed a whole lot of cage traps here. Um, you know, I can actually make some weapon traps in front of those now. Um, should have more than enough of these things. And these were the better ones. Yeah, 360, 450. No, these were the better ones every fucking time. Okay, these are the betting icons. Um, so, obsidian mechanisms. What do we have? 68 obsidian sword. sword. Great. Um, some even encrusted with some things. The an obsidian short sword with some work. Potter Buffalo hoof in it. That's very nice. Also, goddammit, cancel too far. Um, 
Okay, these were the best. Um, no, no, uh, X, yeah. And an Ornomer's Silver. Uh, oh, this is much what I've bought just from the trailer just now, of course. Um, Ornomer's Silver Corkscrew with hanging rings of Warcraft <laughs> Amethyst. Why would uh, a corkscrew, uh, a weapon trap, need to be engraved with gems? I don't know, but some dwarves like it apparently. Um, okay, let's go make some traps. Um, so, yeah, glass discs isn't running at all yet, but we do have some obsidian short swords. I do have 60, so I'll be able to create 10 on every line. That's pretty good. Um, also, they're all pretty awesome quality. I'll just throw them in fast since I can't really be bothered. Um, huh, why didn't it do 10? Probably selected someone else off screen. Um, okay, this again. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah. Um, now I need to set all this, and I think then we end the video too. It's, uh, 26 minutes already. Um, anyway, this line of traps, and yeah, this on this time side. This will uh, keep my swords pretty safe. Obsidian is one of the best items you can use for swords. It's as good as steel, and it's goddamn cheap, and needs only obsidian and a bit of wood. Um, and. Uh, there we go. Well, that'll defend my fortress, uh, or at least chop everyone's legs off. Try uh, someone who tries to get in, and whoever gets past that line of traps will, yeah, need to go past five lines of cage traps. Um, but uh, yeah, we're at 27 minutes. Also, Stonecrafter is creating masterpieces, and Stonecrafter is creating those swords. So yay. Um, so yeah, 27 minutes. Frost plunge or no, not frost plunge. That's the previous fortress. Forest strangled, part two. And uh, the merchants leave us. And uh, well, it's time to leave you too. I, I, I you guys, uh, I think. Yeah, this has been enough for this video and this session too. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll post these and uh, let me guys know what you think about this fortress so far. And uh, if you see any glaring errors or something. But uh, I should all be fine. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next episode.